Hmm, how to make key lime pie gin? Well, that's easy, isn't it? I guess we just take some base alcohol. Yes, and some juniper. Yes, this little fella as well. And he's a key lime pie. Yep, and there we go, or not. Let's see how the pros does it. Hey guys, and welcome to High on Gin. Some of you will know that this is not my first video about three Ren Distillery, but Master Distiller Nick Waits, and he keeps surprising me with his ability to create something completely new, something fun, something totally crazy. And this one here is his latest creation, the Key Lime Pie Gin, a limited edition made on his 50 liter cup copper pot still called Valerie. So I thought that we could do a one, two, three gin test where I test one gin, come up with two servings in about three minutes. So let's get started. Key lime pie, as you know, is this very famous American dessert pie made, uh, made of uh, key lime juice, of course, egg yolks, sweetened condensed milk, and often served topped with a meringue topping made out of egg whites or whipped cream like this one here. It is often cooked in a crust pastry shell made out of graham crackers or Biscoff cookies or digestive biscuits, whatever you can find. And when you taste the pie, it has this buttery sweetness and this crunchy cookie texture from the pastry with this tangy, sweet, light, soft and refreshing, aromatic citrus cream on top of it. Mm, I really like this cake. So that's the feeling that you should have if you want to replicate this sensation into a key lime pie gin. And yes, it takes more than just slamming a key lime pie into some alcohol and adding some juniper berry. So how did the master distiller do it? Well, first he took a lot of Biscoff biscuits and macerated them in the base alcohol for 24 hours. These biscuits are known for their cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger flavored combined with this caramelized sugar taste. And then he distilled the gin with the additional ingredients. And when he does that, he puts extra Biscoff biscuits in the vapor baskets to get even more flavors out uh, and into the final product. The additional um, uh, extra botanicals are juniper, of course. It is coriander seeds that adds the citrus note to the gin and helps to create a really good base for the gin. He uses uh, lime leaves that brings these more bright and distinct aromatic citrus flavors to the gin. He uses something as unusual as yarrow herbs that gives this, well, you can say sweet licorice and slightly bitter taste to the gin. A bit like tarragon, I guess. He uses meadow sweet that adds this cinnamon, spearmint, uh, uh, marzipan uh, taste and brings extra sweetness to the gin. And then I read that uh, fresh lime zest is steeped into the finished gin for uh, 48 hours before it is bottled. And that would explain why the color of the gin has, well, it's this slight green color. When we smell it, <laughs> wow, you really get the crust of the pie. The smell of the biscuit, biscuit is very, very present. The sweet caramelized sugar and the cinnamon and the ginger and the nutmeg, it really stands out. You would have to look for the lime, but if you if you think lime and you smell again and again, you can find it there. It's, it's there. And you get these very fine aromatic uh, citrus notes in it. And when we taste it... Wow. 
Wow. The biscuit is, of course, very, very present, but the citrus element is more present in the taste. The alcohol and the juniper and the coriander seed, it really helps boosting the lime forward. The sweetness and the velvety texture is there. This is so well done. This is really a liquefied key lime pie. So, how to drink this? Well, first of all, I think this one should be enjoyed neat and chilled. Drink it as an aperitif to your coffee, just like you get a little bis uh, biscuit when ordering a coffee at a good restaurant or a coffee shop. When you chill it down with ice like this, the aromatic lime element becomes even more present. And it's just such a fun digestive drink to serve to your guests. If you want to make a drink, Nick suggests that you uh, shake five centiliters of key lime uh, pie gin with two and a half centiliters of lime juice and two and a half centiliters of sugar syrup and one egg white and shake it without ice vigorously for about 10 seconds and then add three to four ice cubes and then shake it for another 10 to 15 seconds and strain it into a glass with a big surface and then sprinkle it with some finely crushed biscuits. You know, uh, you have to be fine. It has to be finely crushed, other, other, uh, otherwise it will uh, sink to the bottom. Alternatively, you can rub the glass rim with lime juice and then dip, uh, dip it into frying granulate uh, of uh, this, uh, this biscuit here, just like you would do, do if you made a margarita cocktail. So guys, there you have it. Nick has done it again. Made a fun, interesting, almost shocking gin. How he comes up with these ideas, I don't know. But he has proven that this is his trademark to do something new and really fun. And I predict that this is not the last time that he will get awarded even more with some of the finest awards out there because this guy has something very few uh, distillers have. The ability to do something completely new and different in this red ocean of gin. And note that this is a very limited edition and it came out in July 2021. So there is a risk that it is already sold out. But if you find it, buy it and have some fun with your guests. I found mine at uh, Gin's DK, a Danish web shop dedicated to gin. And if you don't find it, follow Three Wrens Distillery and get ready for the next thing he does, whatever that might be. These limited editions are all, always a lot of fun. You could watch uh, my next episode where I test his ready-to-drink Negroni version. Until next time.